as football professionals, you have to do a lot of stuff during the week. Not a lot of them you really enjoy when you come here. It's really easy to enjoy it. It's just a, a little lift, of course. That's what we, a little push, what we want to give them, that they feel uh, that they have this special moment. Liverpool's all about community in the city, and it's a massive part of the city, so you know it's important we give back. And the kids are, are a massive part of that, and it's really enjoyable for us to come and see the kids as well. You know, they're very positive in, in a quite negative situation, which is always really inspirational to see. Hi, nice to meet you. Hello. Um, surgery on his stomach, so okay. yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a lot better now. Okay. So. Nice, nice nap. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven yeah. weeks. We didn't lose since you. Oh, thank born. you. <laughs> you know, I, I have kids as well, and I know kind of how excited they are around Christmas. So to be, you know, in hospital not very well is is, is very sad. But uh, you know, it's the least least we can do. Uh, come here and show some support. I'm Kerry. This is Jack. Jack has a condition called autism, and um, Jack's been struggling quite a lot. We've come in here for some help to help support him. And I've been in here for seven weeks and I'm staying right through Christmas. Because he's got two elder brothers who are both Liverpool supporters and they always keep trying to change Jack to be a red. But Jack, <laughs> Jack's not budging, he's sticking by his dad. Are you allowed in? No. Never, 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 He's able to tell him fibs, yeah. isn't he? He's going to say it's a pen, isn't he? What was it like when they came in? What were you saying to them? Get out, Miriam stinks. That's good, that's good. <laughs> Football doesn't matter when you come to places like this. And being um, the captain of the, of, the, of the team coming here is, is huge for me, personally. Um, like I say, just to put a smile on the kids' face, even if it's just for the day, um, means, means a lot to me. <laughs> my first Christmas I was in hospital, luckily I got home on Christmas day, late Christmas day, but you know my mum and dad say it's still to this day, it's the worst Christmas ever, so you know you feel for the parents and you feel for the kids. It's emotional because you know of course it, it could be one of your family members, it could be you, you maybe visit people in hospital throughout the years of your life, you want to come and lift them up a little bit and you know this could be a, a moment for them that could, could give them you know the spirit to fire on, you know at the end of the day we're we're humans, we're normal people at the end of the day, so we're not bigger than, than anyone. So to come here and to, to give a helping hand to, to the you know, people who work at us, it's a great feeling for us. We can be really happy that we have all the hay here and, and they take so fantastic care and, and they help so much and they work so hard. It's, it's just, yeah, it's a perfect place to be honest.